what? But the fact that he got out of the store and no one said, hmm. <laughs> it's just a little bit of a wrong. beer belly, that's all. <laughs> No, no biggie. He's been drinking the beer cans then too. You oh, yeah, know, like, yeah. the whole six pack is in there. It's crazy. <laughs> but I will just give a, a an automatic shout out to our producer Vince, who didn't make me follow the chainsaw story because okay. I don't. No, he just made me one. read another story. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Oh my goodness! All right, so let's talk about what's happening here locally. Right now, not much actually. It's a very pleasant start to the morning. Not terribly cold. The wind has eased up. But I do want to start it off with this wide zoom on storm scan too, just to show you what lies in wait this next disturbance headed our way obviously bringing in some pretty heavy rain through Missouri parts of Arkansas and uh, that's what is headed our way now I do want to just quickly touch on what may happen in the northernmost counties tomorrow because it definitely is a highlight it won't happen in the city but far enough north your eyes don't deceive there is should likely be enough cold air that there's a bit of freezing drizzle or freezing rain that comes through places like I 80 78 route 22 northern 309 so ahead Heads up if you're headed up that way or you live there, that could be an issue for tomorrow morning's commute. But with time, the temperature will rebound. So we may spend most of the morning, most everywhere anyway, with just clouds. However, eventually that rain's going to lift in. We all get in on it at some point, even if you don't see it in the morning. So my suggestion is to walk out the door with your umbrella and you'll be needing it certainly for the PM drive. I know when Jim's out partying at the clubs oh, yes. late on Friday night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make sure that you have your rain gear ready, my friend, at the discotheque. Okay. <laughs> okay. Beyond that point, those skies do start to clear out. And Saturday actually ends up pretty nice here once we get past that early morning rain, especially at the Jersey Shore. I actually want to just jump you right to the seven day here. Let's take a look at the weekend. It's not bad. Uh, flirting with or hitting 70 degrees both Saturday and Sunday, and then a fresh round of showers, if not some thunderstorms, rumbling on in by Monday. Chandler? Mm -hmm.